Hey there internet and welcome to another episode of Where's Your Bookmark? I'm really excited about today's episode because this is my first sort of contribution to the YouTube book club. And if you haven't heard about that, I suggest you go over to the channel Sable Cot. It's run by a girl named Stevie. There's going to be a link to it down below. And she does fantastic YA book reviews. It, she's hilarious. She's really smart. She has a lot of great thoughts. And a couple months ago, she participated in World Book Night. And the book that she was given to give away to people was Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. So that is the book that she's decided to do a book club on. Since she had to give away so many copies, she's encouraging other people to get copies as well and read along with her. So for today I'm going to be talking about the first third of this novel. Basically the premise is pretty simple. The world will end on Saturday, next Saturday, just before dinner, according to the nice and accurate prophecies of Agnes Nutter, which the only the world's only completely accurate book of prophecies, written in 1655. The armies of good and evil are amassing and everything appears to be going according to divine plan. Except that a somewhat fussy angel and a fast-living demon are not actually looking forward to the coming rapture. And someone seems to have misplaced the Antichrist. So someone put on the front cover, Clive Barker, said, The apocalypse has never been funnier, and I completely agree. I have been having so much fun carrying this book around with me the past couple days, reading the first third, so I have the paperback edition, so that puts me around page 123. It's hilarious. The humor in it is very dry British and very smart. It is humor that makes you think and makes you work for it a little bit, which I appreciate. It's very fresh, which maybe maybe that's the wrong word since this book was written quite a while ago, but it's fresh to me. I think it's great. There's so many great 90s references uh, about like cassette tapes and stuff and how uh, mobile phones are new and I think it's great. One line that has particularly jumped out to me so far, uh, if you have the paperback again, it's page 26, it says, It may help to understand human affairs to be clear that most of the great triumphs and tragedies of history are caused, not by people being fundamentally good or fundamentally bad, but by people being fundamentally people. And as someone who studied English and someone who studied history quite a bit in high school and college, and I think that's just interesting and fun, that resonates a lot with me. I think that is a sentiment that is incredibly true, and uh, I think it's just brilliant. Like I said, this is Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett's Good Omens, and it's not a new book, but it's still definitely one worth reading. So if you have a copy at your local library, that's where I got mine, pick it up. I highly recommend it so far. So I will probably be making a few other videos about this book in the future and I'm looking forward to what's to come. So that's it from me for now, Internet. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.